Today let's look at the new audience question which is how do I deal with the fear of missing out? How do I deal with the fear of missing out? Okay, let's look at this. What do we mean by missing out? See, other people we believe are having more fun. They are going on vacations. They are they have a great job or they have this or that which I don't have. They are going out on parties. They are meeting each other and they are not inviting me. See, I'm being left out. Or they are learning something. They are going on a certain path. They are changing their careers. They are doing something which I am not involved in. And so I feel like I am missing out. And this constant feeling of not being included eats away at my mind. See, why, we should ask a question to ourselves, why do I feel like what they are doing has more value? Give it a second. Think about it. Why do I believe that what they are doing has more value and what I am doing is meaningless, is not enjoyable, is something pretty commonplace, right? Why do we think that? We think this way because we have been trained by society to look outside, by our parents, by our culture, to look at others to see whether what I am doing is right or wrong. When we go to our job and we make money, we don't know whether we have decent enough salaries. The only way I know if I'm making enough money is by comparing with my friends. If my friends make about the same money as me, then I must be doing okay. If they make a lot more money than me, then I'm I'm not doing okay. See, this comparison conformity has trained us to look outside, to look at others, to see whether what we are doing is valuable. What they are doing has no value at all. What you want to do with your own individual life has the highest value possible. Why? Because you get to live only one life. You get to live only your life. Make sense? If you are not going to live your life and are always going to look at others, the grass that is greener on the other side, what you are not experiencing, then you are chasing other people's idea of what life should be and you are ignoring your own ideas of what life should be. And you are actually missing out not on what they are doing, but your own highest potentials. You are missing out on your own best self. Do you understand this? Is it making sense? So ask yourself, how do I do what I want to do? How do I do what I love? How do I figure out what my passions are? What my hobbies are? How do I do that brings me serious joy? Not casual joy, but serious joy. See, enjoyment also has to be serious, which means I don't just play the piano or the guitar for five minutes and then I walk away. I play it for hours. If I play it for hours, that brings me serious joy. I don't just think about a business idea, some concept, and I write it in the book and then forget about it. No, if I want to build a business idea, I spend hours working on it. See, that brings me serious joy. If I want to learn a skill, an art, I spend hours doing those things. And when I have serious joy in my life, I have meaning in my life. When my life is meaningful, I have no time to look at what other people are doing. I have no time to worry about what they may or may not be doing. It is they who are missing out now. Make sense? You have got to cultivate a rich inner life. And your inner life has to be so rich that you never have time even to think about what other people might be doing. If you can do that, if you can live this kind of a life, you will never ever feel like you're missing out. Make sense? In fact, when somebody pulls you away from yourself, when someone pulls you away from your schedule, when someone pulls you away from the things that you love to do, when somebody becomes an interference in what you love to do, that's when you feel like I'm missing out. I am missing out on what is the best thing I could do with my life. I'm missing out on the best possible version of myself. If you like these ideas, if you like the way of this way of thinking, Make sure you follow the YouTube channel and leave your questions in the comments so I can pick them up and answer in the next video.